Hello, hello YouTube! Today we are farming some Sword Mage accessories in Rushmere. Um, it's the continuation of Sword Mage Trials. Great place to get accessories for all types of magic classes. Especially dark users because I know most of the magic users out there are dark. So this is a great place to get them. Amazing, amazing stats. If you can see on the... Uh, Left side of the screen, my samurai is using the yeah, the shoes and the gloves. Amazing, amazing stat bonuses. They don't last forever because I will be replacing them with um, uh, the flora whenever that comes out. But for the time being, they are amazing for stats. Alright, so this is the trial, as you can see. This is pretty easy compared to the Guardian one because of one, uh, a lot of reasons, but one of, the, one of the main reasons is because the mobs are not hyper moded, if that makes sense. They don't have any hyper modes, so it's very, very easy to kill them. There's no, no there's none of that, uh, 30 second delay. Just go in and you kill stuff and they fall over. Another reason why they are really easy to farm here is because uh, they are light and I know most of you guys are dark out there so this is a very very easy place to farm. So I already finished the, um, the 50 stamps. I recommend you guys do that first. A lot of uh, guaranteed rewards that are really nice to get. After that you can go ahead and do these and knit stamps. You see I already got the uh, fire gloves here. And those basically let you go in there forever, lets you farm forever. So go ahead and do those after. And I recommend if you guys plan on doing any sort of magic uh, dealing classes, get a lot of these, especially the, I think, and hat gives the most dark. So farm those, put them on your uh, sub accessories and stack them. Uh, comparing that to Nuflora, which is the, uh, Assassin's dark gear, it doesn't give that much dark, but it gives like uh, agility and crit, all that other jazz. I think mostly agility. You can go ahead and go there. Um, compared to Valkyrie, I think Valkyrie gives more, but until you get to that point, Sword Mage's accessories are very nice too. So, what I usually do for this. Um, I recommend if you guys have really good AoE to use AoE. For me, I use Garen on my Guardian and I just kill stuff with my Samurai. Stuff. But if you don't have Garen or any of the uh, AoE from my Sword Mages, just bring a lot of good bursts and you should be able to clear this easy again. Also, I forgot to wear my uh, Attack on Titan clothes for my uh, Guardian, so. I think as high as I want to, but it's okay. I forgot, I forgot to change that out. That's all right. For the most part, this shouldn't be difficult at all. Very easy to find here. You can just run into a random crowd and they'll clear it for you pretty easily. Um, accessories, really simple. If you get these chests right here, guaranteed not sword mage stuff. So get those, you're probably not gonna get anything good. If it's a silver chest, Guaranteed a sword mage accessory, I believe. I'll link the other jazz there. So if you land on a silver chest, most likely you'll get, you will actually get sword mage accessories, and it'll be random element. Any of the six elements will appear in that silver chest. But the stamps, the 50 stamps one, always gives dark, so you're guaranteed at least two sets of those. I recommend if you guys are going sword mages, max out the headgear mainly because right now sword mages lack very very little in the uh, damage limit department. So you want to make sure you max that hat out and you'll be doing not the highest damage but you'll be doing more than uh, the other sword mages that are out there. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to cut out at this end. Pretty easy video, not much to talk about. Very very easy stuff to farm. So I'll see you guys next video. A lot, of, a lot, a lot of new events update. So, I'll see you guys then.